Wait a minute, was he resting that Red Bull on the floor? I'll break the middle, y'all. Tell me where you live, and I'll come to your fucking house. No, it's not a scripted rant, you motherfucking imbecile, you low-life cocksucker! The best way to explain zombies' bloodlust is this, the appetite of demons expressed through humans. It should be astonishing to people that the richest people in the world, not all of them, but some of them, are into occult ceremonies where they have to drink, you know, blood that's, that's extracted from a tortured child. Yeah, but it's chewing on zombies! Chewing on zombies, yo! I can't wait for this costume, I'll see. You want my idea? That's a, no, not for the front. Hold on, let me get my other fucking head going. Do you want to come to my house? No. Do you want to come to my house? Hello and welcome everyone to Fuck My Life, the show as you question your decisions and saying fuck my life. I'm your host, the atheist veteran, and folks, 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 that video brings back a lot of memories for old Tav. This is, um... Very special episode because it's the very first one on the new channel. It's the first one in seven months. Well, I did do one earlier, but the uh, a couple days ago, but the audio for the videos were kind of messed up. It was on Streamlabs, and it was, you know, so I, I think this is a better presentation anyway. So I think this can be the unofficial, official, very first stream of the new Fuck My Life. <clears throat> Folks. A lot has happened since old Tav has been gone. A lot has happened. Uh, I'm not going to get into the the reasons of why Tav was gone. Uh, I've talked to the people needed to, and so and um, and I feel like um, at least with the majority of people, um, everything is squashed. Um, anyone else has a problem, they don't have to watch. They don't have to do anything. So that's cool. It, that's cool. You know that it's freedom, America, America. You can do what the fuck you want. Anyway, folks, folks, a lot has happened in the Shaney uh, Redverse. It is, it, a lot has gone down. And it's not like I was keeping up with it while I was off. I, when I left, I just cut everything off. I just, you know, I, I took some, some Tav time. I took some time for old Tav. You know, um, I went to a concert, saw Breaking Benjamin, Alice in Chain, a Bush, and, and a, and a uh, not so well known group called Thunder Pussy. And I thought their name is awesome. Thunder Pussy is an awesome name. Um, so I, I think that uh, that was fun. Uh, I went to Disneyland. That was cool. I um, also went to Universal Studios Hollywood. That was also cool. Um, I tried Butterbeer. That shit is delicious. Anyway, folks. Yeah, I chew my nails. I know it's gross. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tav is sorry, guys. Um. Anyway. So, I was gone. I wasn't paying attention to anything. No G-Man. No fucking Shaney for Christ. No fucking Negs. No fucking this or that or the other. And, um. And when I came back, it looked like at least from my perspective, that Shaney and Rev did like five years worth of locale in seven months. And I don't even think it was seven months. I think the majority of what happened happened in like the past few months. So <laughs> it's pretty fucking crazy, right? And so um, I'm going through Twitter last night. I was actually going to save this stream for uh, a little bit later. But this was just too delicious not to stream. It was just too fucking... You know? <laughs> fucking good. It's fucking yummy in Tav's tummy, yo. So, um, I thought, what better way to rebuild this channel with the fucking news that we've all been, we've all predicted. It's like fucking, the whole Geek Room community is like Nostradamus when it comes to Shaney and Rev. But not really, because, you know, it's pre- 
it's predicted because it's predictable. You know, when you got someone who burns through seven hundred thousand dollars in th in two years, you know, um, and they're not good with money, and they're leeching off, you know, the few the few people they have. Eventually, things aren't going to end up well. You know, so it's not <laughs> it's not hard to predict what has happened to these people. So. Um, I want to start off this video with some fun shit. Uh, Fat Photog is always a fun, a fun um, creator. I love, I love their work. I've always have. I kind of missed uh, checking them out. So their link is in the description if you want to check it out. Also, if you enjoyed the the weight music, uh, they're all covers. You know, you got covers. You know, so you don't get too destroyed. You, like you'll get copyright claimed, but you won't get struck if you use covers. So if you want to check out check them out their links are in the description as well um so let's check out fat photogs uh video i'm literally like delirious because it's been almost uh it, it's been around 14 days or something since we've had actual food oh no and um i'm just pleading uh the blood of jesus and also i'm asking please for could, could someone help me because I'm at an end and Shani's at an end. She's hungry too. Someone help them. We're, we're, someone, we anyone. No okay, anyone except themselves. Can someone help them that's food. not them? So if somebody could find it in themselves to help me out, the address is right down there. You see it. And I would really Rams appreciate release. it, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm. Whoa. Like I'm passing out level. So, Guys, um, I'm hungry. Give me money. I would really appreciate it. Anything, anything you can do would be a huge help. Thank you very much. God bless you. Suck my dick. <laughs> oh, Fat Fota, you are just a gem. You are just the best. I love you. Folks, Cheney and Rev need food. Well, they need a little bit more than that now, but that at that point in time, they needed some food. That needed they needed some yummies in Rev's tummies. Guys, guys, who would have thought? So let's break down. I just wanted to put that in before I before I get into um what exactly happened while I was gone. Um, well, first thing, at least. I don't know exactly how the timeline goes. I don't know. But Rev went to jail. Rev was a prison bitch. God, it's like, oh, I want to make... Like, you've ever seen that? Like, if you're a fan of Team Four Star, like, back when they were, you know, still making Dragon Ball Bridge, um, there was this joke where this character Nappa, and he would, like, call Vegeta a prison bitch. Like Vegeta, Vegeta was a prison bitch. I it's like, I just want to. I, I there's got to be something we could do with that, right? Right. Well, anyway, so while while Rev was in prison, um, he um, you know, probably got you know some some good some good food. So <laughs> probably the best living conditions he's had in a while. He probably should have stayed in prison. <laughs> Roof over his head, food in his stomach, you know. It, it just makes sense to me. Should have been, should have stayed. Um, Rev was in, well, he was in jail, not prison. Prison's when you're convicted. Um, he was in jail and for kicking uh, their autistic son in the head and stomach. Now I've heard several different things. I've heard uh, maybe they were just, uh, oh shit, someone's here. Alibis! Holy shit, long time no see. What's up, home dog? Alibis. Yeah, I missed you. I missed, I missed a lot of you guys. Anyway, so Rev went to, went to jail for, um, for kicking his, uh, their autistic son in the, in the head and stomach. Um, but some people say that there might be some kind of grift behind it. I don't, I don't know. There might be some kind of different story i don't know but that's that's the officials you know tav take on it you know tav's gonna gonna be like 
going to go with the the what he what other people have reported, other than you know just you know thoughts and conspiracy theories or whatever. You know, it's like it could be. You know, I'm good. Uh, how are you? Good to see you streaming again. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so the Discord and uh, and the Twitter are in the description if you get if you're just interested in following that and also the links to all uh to all my music I mean, all the music that's used on the channel so yeah um he got out because shaney wouldn't go to court to testify against him i think that's that's how it went um g-man then kicked them out and set him up in this crappy motel crappy motel is, is key to the story all right so they went they Live in this crappy motel. G Man, then and Shaney and Rev start start this huge feud, and it's just delicious to watch. Um, because one, G Man is now going back on everything he ever said, and I think it's hilarious because G Man, who seems to just tell everybody he's this arbiter of truth and that 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 that, that, that everyone else is wrong and what everyone else says about Shaney and Rev and him are wrong. Now it's just like, nope, they're all right. Which is, you know, just, just confirmation you can't trust anything G-Man says, you know. Because <laughs> he'll just flip on you in a second. He'll flip on you and then everything everyone else said is completely right. Re Shaney does stink. She does make a mess. Re Rev and Shaney don't do shit. They fucking abuse their children. Uh, you know. <laughs> it it's just like it's it's just like, dude, pick a, you know if you're a pick a side, stick with it, bro, <clears throat> you know. But uh, and then, um, Rev and Shaney, uh, Rev and G Man, start getting into this argument because G Man wants to know why she chose Rev over him. Well, he doesn't want to know. He does know why. She chose Rev over him because. Of money and G Man is pretty salty about it. I don't know why you'd be so salty, especially after you see what she does. You have seen her in person. See what? Why are you salty, G Man? You've seen what she does. She drains money and doesn't do anything. It's like it's like why are you salty? And don't tell me you don't you don't have a, a boner for this chick, bro. Because you wouldn't be making videos this whole time. Yeah, no, it's fucking crazy, right, Alibis? You wouldn't be making videos saying, well, why did you pick Rev over me if you weren't fucking like, um... I gotta fix the, the chat a little bit, but, um... If you weren't fucking salty about it. Dude. There we go, that might, that might be a little bit better. If you weren't salty about it. You know? You should be thanking Rev. He took the bullet for you. He took the fucking bullet. I was like, why why are you dude, if anything, Rev was this, Rev is the guy who saved your ass from from being desolate. He t and now he's desolate. So this whole this whole arc you know, G Man and, and Rev and Cheney are now beefing. Um they're all spilling the beans on each other. And the sad thing is, it's like, it's, they're not fucking telling us anything we don't know already. Everyone knows this shit about Shaney and Rev and G-Man. Everyone knows what they do and who they are. They've been on the internet forever. It's not fucking news to us. But it's just funny seeing them go at it, saying the same shit that we already knew. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, Rev and Shaney, uh, uh, do this, and then um, on top of everything, um, I th I don't know exactly why or how, because I'm still catching up. So, but what I heard so far, and what I think I've heard, is that um, Rev and Shaney, when when Rev got out of jail, Shaney took him back because Shaney was walking around. Well, first of all, Shaney was was talking shit about Rev while he was in prison and just saying she's not going to take him back and then she, and Shaney was walking around oh this apparently now that I think about it, this is this is before they went to the motel um and walk around like this house is mine da, 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 da. and so Rev and Shaney or, or Shaney call uh took Rev back when he got out of jail 13 days later which Rev said Jesus put him in Jesus put him in jail which is um debatable to say the least. <clears throat> uh, 
Shaney took him back. The kids, the kids were obviously devastated by this. Here's this fucking child abuser coming back into your home, you know. And um, and Rev and Shaney started fucking, and the kids could hear it. I don't know how people found this out. I guess uh, probably the usual way. Shaney was probably bragging about it. it was bragging about it on one of her fucking, you know, soon probably soon to be. Uh, deleted fucking, you know, uh, channels on some fucking platform somewhere. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I know she's got a Twitch. Um, so, CPS comes. Takes them away. Take, takes the little children away. And, thankfully, <laughs> they did come and actually take them away. Thankfully, they did. Um, at this point, Reverend Shaney are living in the hotel. CPS takes them away. Or CPS took them away. Then they're living in the hotel. I'm just trying to get everything straight. It's so much. And then Reverend Shaney start... Well, they, they, they are e-bagging, but this is like a new level of fucking e-bagging. Like for fucking Subway sandwiches and shit. It's fucking sad. Rev is sitting there in the dark going, Can you please send me some shit? We'll see some of that too. We'll see. I got some of those videos lined up too. Uh, what what's going on with the uh, this? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Let's uh, close that real quick. Display capture. You don't need to see my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, do do do. I'm oh, sorry. Miss Parker wrote me something. Um. Yeah, sometimes I'm sometimes I'm still I'm still getting used to like everything right now. I'm getting reused to everything. Um, so Shaney and Rev are just e banging their asses off. And uh, well, before we get more into it, we're gonna watch some more uh, funny shit. Please, someone help me! <laughs> ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, yeah, th this guy's right. She's oh my saying, god, this that, that's a good so name for bad. it. It's like a health scare bag, you know? It's like, oh no, I'm dying. Give me money. It's like, it's so it's so predictable. It, it's so it's so often that the, like there's names for it now. You got names for it. You got the health scare bag. You got the fucking the crocodile tears for for money. Bad. Yeah, maybe. I think I might have to go to the hospital. I'm having really bad chest pains, guys. Guys, my chest pains. I just wanted I need to some go. Dead dead. <laughs> All I, I wanted to. It's not about. All I wanted to do is just talk on the internet and be a fucking e beggar. <laughs> Fucking shit. I miss this. I miss this. About begging money. It's about needing money. I'm not putting my kids through chaos. I didn't end up. I didn't want this to happen. Oh, really, Shinny? You're not putting them through chaos? What are you doing right at this point in this video? At this point, she is driving them across the country because her and Jason ran through 700, close to 800, actually, thousand dollars in two or three years they got evicted because they could not handle themselves as adults and as the money dried up and dried up and kept drying up everyone including myself told them you need to get work you need to fucking you know you know stop that the, the hemorrhage of mummy money dude we told them. What did they do? They sat there on their ex on their PlayStation Five, played Animal Crossing, and fucking begged their audience to give them money. And yes, their audience did support them. But the way Shanny lives, you cannot support someone like Shanny off of just what you make off of YouTube at all. Even if her channel was. Completely monetized, never fucking. She would. It would not be enough. It wouldn't. 
She ran through almost $800,000 in two years. You think the fucking couple hundred to to maybe $1,000 a month she would get as big as her channel could have gotten with without her, you know, just, you know, setting it on fire by, you know, allowing someone to abuse her children in her car on stream would have been enough to support her? No. You're dumb if you think you're helping her by giving her money. You're not helping her. Her e-beggars, or the people she e-begs from, and the people who give her money are two, one of two things. Incredibly stupid or trolls. At least to this, at this point. Maybe some of them at some point did care and actually gave them money to... to and I, I know there's a few of them that gave them money for the kids to, to spend on the kids. And she never used it to spend on the kids. No. No way. So now... They're in a world of shit. Because... Just can't, they can't comprehend the fact that the, the fact that they, that money's got to come from somewhere other than the internet. It's not consistent enough. It's just not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shani. You cannot sit here and fucking beg people constantly. And it, and when you do it constantly, it's no one's gonna give you money anyway. Cause it's it's cry wolf constant all the time. Crying wolf. <sighs> You're telling me to calm down when I'm literally having a panic attack. Literally Fuck you guys attack. for not fucking understanding that I have. Fucking it wasn't problems. like every other video. It's strange, and I have heart problems, guys. Oh, the near death bag. See another name for it. I can't take any more goddamn stress oh, in my thanks. fucking uh, life. Girl life. <sighs> You know the trees used to talk to us? Did you know the animals used to talk to us? I don't know what's going on with that. <sighs> so this is an example. The reason why I picked this video because I feel like it's a great example of like what she did to her family and how she uses her mistakes to get other people to try to fix them for her. She took her family across the country. She fuck because they couldn't pay their bills. They wouldn't. They wouldn't get uh, reliable work. And now she and Jason have found themselves stuck on the side of train tracks. Shit out of luck, and she manages to get out of it somehow, some way because her e her e begging constantly. She goes to the. She knows. She knows how to play the system too. It's just like they use. They use the firefighters to fix their tire for them. You know, and they use. Uh, they. She goes to the hospital to get some pain meds because that's what she. That's what's really going on. She. She needs some fucking some something to fucking dull her senses. <clears throat> yeah. How about try to keep me calm instead of being an asshole to me? How about that, you fuckers? Oh, I can't breathe. If you're really in that much pain, you wouldn't be having a phone pointed at you. You know what I'm saying? If you're really, you know, having a medical emergency, having a phone pointed at you would be too strenuous, too strenuous to fucking, you know, to do. This is this is all fucking bullshit right here. Every fucking bit of it. Every single bit of it. Uh, I need to get out of here. It's so hot. All I hear is corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. I need yep, to um, oh, by the way, um I got this video from uh Brad Silverlong. Um his his uh video is also in the description if you want to check it out. Um so let's go back here. I shouldn't have used this one. There we go. So here's what happened last night. Came on my feed, my brand new Twitter account feed. Also, like again, once again, Twitter 
Discord in the description. Um, came came upon this, and it's some. This is something that just everyone predicts. Like I said, everyone predicts this shit. Not because you know we have some sort of magic ability to predict locale bullshit. It's just so predictable. You know, these people are gonna be. <laughs> oh shit! What's up, Yato? We got the Yato man up in here. Where's my fucking chat box? Why don't you? Sh why's my chat box not showing up? Oh well. It's so predictable because they do shit that common sense would dictate would end up in bad fucking situations. They don't pay their motel. They don't. They don't fucking. They think that they're gonna let them stay there for free. Common sense would say no. Eventually, you're gonna get thrown out on your ass. But you know, you didn't need me to tell you that. But they need someone to tell them that. And even when they tell them that, they don't believe them. So we're gonna see what happened. And yet, it wasn't because they were kicked out of uh, of the the hotel. Apparently, there was something. The copper pipe got stolen, and there was oil, and now it's condemned. But the point is. They were going to get kicked out eventually, regardless. I heard a boom, boom, boom at the door, and I'm like, what is this? Jason E. Groff woke up to firefighters pounding on his and other residents' doors after... The F, they're f -less celebrities now. They're celebrities because they're fucked. They're celebrities like, 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 John, like John Wayne Gacy's a celebrity. They're celebrities because they do fucked up shit, you know? He was like, <laughs> they're celebrities because... <laughs> They're just the worst, you know. Through an oil spill at Motel 81, I heard a boom, boom, boom at the door, I don't and know that's I'm like, off. "What is this?" Jason Egroff woke up to firefighters pounding on his and other residents' doors after an oil spill at Motel 81. Oh, I heard a boom, yeah. boom, boom at the door, I and didn't... I'm like, that's "What is that?" that um... So we're gonna fucking watch another one uh, we'll watch we'll watch that later so Shaney Love now cannot post videos I haven't seen her post anything uh, because and you know she doesn't have a place at least if she does have a place a roof over her head there's not internet access because you know she would have fucking be e she would be e-begging by now but there's no e-begging in fact let me re uh, refresh just to make sure Mm-hmm. Nope. Still the same thing. Um, there's no e-bagging. There's no fucking, um, there's no video by, by Rev or, um, or Shani by, about this. Um, there's not even a video by G-Man about this yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. But, let's, um, fucking, hey, I gotta watch this fucking ad for Shani. We're gonna fucking turn that off. Just give me a sec. You know, I'm not gonna subject you to an ad for Shaney for Christ. That just kind of it's kind of a dick move. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let me run this ad real quick. So these people have found for the longest time have found just this system to keep their head just above water, just to keep them above water. Okay. But eventually the system has fuck, fucking uh, ran it, uh, has been milked dry. All right. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Now I can play it. But the system has been milked dry and just like we all knew it would. And they're now fucked. So here's, here's um, the last video that they posted. And of course, it's more e-begging. But it's kind of sadder now. <laughs> Let's uh, blow this up for you guys. Hey what guys, is that how you noise? Doing? What's up? Uh, we're still in the same place that we're at that we were at before, and uh, we're in desperate need of, of drinks and food. In desperate need um, of drinks, and food, um, folks. Again, I want to thank everybody that's helped already. Um, but you see the address up in the left uh, upper left hand corner there. It's at Shani needs love. If if you could help <laughs> us out, um, it's literally it's for food and drink. That's it. Um. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, Shani is still feeling horrible. 
Um, she, she's got a migraine to boot at this point. So uh, some food would be really good. Hey, Folks for Jesus. Folks for Jesus, I like that. Folks for Jesus. That, that's a great name, okay? I wish I came up with that, but that's great. Folks for Jesus. So God bless everybody out there, um, especially to the people that have a heart, you know, a kind heart. This yeah, fuck everyone else. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you for not giving me fucking money and food. Jason. Last time I watched a video with you that had um that had any kind of um video to it. You guys were begging for food, but it looked like Shane you and Shaney were high off your fucking dicks. So I'm gonna ask what everyone else asks. Why did it look like you guys were zooted out begging for food? Why? Either like this is this is just the ultimate grift that's gone fucking way wrong. Cause this started out with, with fucking two people who had tons of money. Still grifting. And yet somehow, some fucking way. You've ended up, at this point, in a motel, living in a motel with, let's just face it, probably not some savory people. <clears throat> with nothing, with not a goddamn thing to your name besides maybe some old clothes, a fucking PlayStation 5, and your crappy caddy. Oh, how the... the well, I won't say mighty. I'll say the large. The, the fucking nasty. Oh, oh, how the sneaky have fallen. So, let's let's watch um, Too Stressed to Sleep by Shaney for Christ. <coughs> oh, God, that internet. Oh, fuck that internet. It's awful. But there was more important. <coughs> Excuse me. Than the benefit of mankind. You saw fishing you know, do a little research. Please, you're not helping your situation. So yeah, I'm so disappointed in people. Oh, I'm so disappointed in people. Oh. I'm so disappointed in Perhaps people. Twitch is different. She's so disappointed in people, not herself or Rev. She's so disappointed in people, in us, folks, because we're responsible for this person's life. You're responsible. Go, you, why haven't you gone over to Shaney's channel and given her a Subway sandwich? <coughs> why haven't you gone over to her channel and given her some Delta 8? It is our civic duty as Americans to feed this fat bitch. You know, it's like the, it's like the fucking 25th Amendment or some shit. I don't know. Fucking, that, uh, fucking... It is every American's duty to feed that fat bitch, I think the wording is, on that, that constitutional amendment. Folks, it's everyone's fault except themselves, except theirs. It's everyone disappointed in us. Disappointed in me! Sorry, Shane. We could have done something with this. Revcast is one of those people. Oh yeah, we true. I guess. We could have done something awesome. They'll never let go of that PS5. No, they'll no, fucking be buried no with it. Which, the way they're going is probably soon. We'd have to suffer if we just choose to kill our egos and just look at each other as our fellow brothers and sisters. Our egos. You're the one who thinks you're a fucking archangel. You want to talk about egos? Fucking egos. As she sits here and e-bags and tells everyone else how awful they are. How about you check your ego, Shaney? Maybe if you would have checked your ego, you wouldn't be in this position. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's too much for me to handle. Yeah. They want they want the power. The power over others. Right? I got the power. The power over What's others. What's up, Reaper? Long time to see. What's up, buddy? Giving people power 
to take care of themselves yeah, and help people them power. and love them. People as power. Yourself. Uh. <laughs> All right. Moving along. If you want peace, you're gonna have to give. Remember when Shaney put like at least a minimal amount of effort into a video? You remember when the, like, like she would make videos that like at least that like were like rebuttal videos or like, you know, an actual attempt to doing something, and now she just sits in her fucking, even if. The few times where she does use the fucking camera, she's just sitting, uh, staring into it, crying. That that's her video format. You know, there's nothing else. I remember when there was at least like like fucking shit going on in the background. There was some shit kind of like how I got going on. I threw it together in like like a few minutes because I had a lot of the assets saved. Um, you guys remember that? And now it's just crying into a camera constantly. She has like a, a format, yes, but it's like the most bare. Look at this. It's a but. It's it's no video. It's no no fucking screen. It's no video, with two borders and her e banging shit. That's it. This must be so satisfying to see you. But if you've been watching for years, it is really kind of satisfying. Yeah, ever since she left Colorado. I'm pretty sure Jason put together a lot of her fucking um, shit, to be honest with you. I don't see Shaney putting together, uh, you know, doing this kind of shit. You know, making, going to Photoshop, fucking building a fucking thing. You know, building a fucking border and fucking backgrounds and shit like that. I don't see, I don't see her doing that. So probably, probably Jason. And now, and now it's just this. This is kind of sad. Kind of really sad. And now it's not even that anymore. Peace. Peace of marinara. And I really doubt that mankind wants peace. Because you take all this trivial bullshit and you hold it over people's heads. You don't forgive. You don't give out mercy. Forgive? Shaney, you're... You're a child abuser. Shaney, you and your, your your boyfriend or husband or whatever, you know, you don't like to call it, which really is more boyfriend, is a ch child abuser. You chose a child abuser over your children. You've made fun of the dead. You've made fun of, you fucking, you fucking grifted on your parents' deaths. You fucking made fun of the geek room's friend who died. You wish cancer on their fucking, um, on their fucking, um, on their viewers, which is, by the way, when I started, that's, that's what caused me to start following Shani. Um, she called me the F slur personally to my face. Her and Rev called me the F slur. You, you some, some ally for LGBT uh, rights right there. Um, and demanded five hundred dollars for me because I I politely asked you if you wanted to come on FML, and then after you were kind of being a bitch, I kind of you know that's when you know Tab got a little bit crazy. But I invited you on the show and you got mad at me because I wouldn't pay you five hundred dollars to come on the show, and and called oh on top of it you called me poor because I wouldn't do it, so um, that's kind of funny. Oh wow, look at this roof over my head. Oh, there's my bed. That's cool. Oh, it's nice and warm and toasty in here too. Oh, anyway, anyway, um, so yeah, forgive you. How about you stop being a bitch first? I'm glad I do. I'm glad I'm different. I'm glad I have the. <laughs> Honey, you're different, but not in the way you think. And to give people who are asking for mercy, mercy. Sure you do. I'm proud of myself for that. Because it's not easy to do. Because it involves ego death. Ego death. 
And not many people have experienced ego death. Ego death. Are, is she trying to say she doesn't have an ego as she sits here? And after being thrown into poverty the way she is and still keeps doing the same shit over and over again because she can't accept the fact that she's not going to fucking make a living on it, on what she's doing. But she doesn't have ego death. But her ego won't allow her to stop this. Because at the end of the day, that's what's really wrong with Shaney. She thinks she's better than everyone. She thinks that that, that if you, she just only keeps doing it, if she only just keeps doing the same shit that doesn't work eventually she's gonna fucking be able to to make things all right and even though the fucking the the tunnel is closing in on her there's no light at the end of this tunnel and even though the dead end you can see the dead end of the tunnel you can see that's been bricked up there's no way out except back you won't go back to working a job you won't go back to fucking doing what you need to do to survive. You won't go back to do what you need to do to get your children back. You just sit here and you just do the same thing over and over again. And what's up, Holofola? Holofola? Long time no see. You just do the same thing over and over again, Shaney. Over and over again. When... At what point do you say this isn't working? At what point do you look at your channel? You look at your situation. Do you look at what you're doing and say this isn't working? I was gone seven months. You know what I did? I hung out. I went to the gym. I went to a concert and I fucking had some fun. I went to Disneyland and I went to fucking Universal Studios. I had a fucking blast because this shit isn't my life. If something pisses me off on here, I can just leave it. It's very freeing. You should try it, Shaney. I also made some money doing it. I was Ubering, just fucking chilling. I would take my kids to school and I'd turn on the Uber app and I'd make fucking maybe $100 that day. Depending on how good it was. It would be anywhere to $160 to $100. It was nice. I got off. And then... I realized something watching your video is that that's all you needed to do for the longest time but you can't even do that because you you fucking destroyed yourself to the point where you can't even download the uber app now you can't even go into the app store and download shit unless you're like at a Starbucks or some shit but even then you who knows if your car is gonna fucking run now I was making 160 to 100 dollars a day. At one point, I made like 200 dollars in one day. It was pretty nice. Uh, and you know why I did it? Not because I needed it. We make our bills just fine. I did it because it was just something to do, something to keep my mind off of shit. You know, just something to you know, not that wasn't YouTube. Even though I may say that ego death is the best thing for you because you're no longer consumed by what you want. You look at others as yourself. You're like, they need to be taken care of. Someone needs to put a mirror like right in front of her. Like right now, just put a mirror right in front of her. This is shit that she should be telling herself. In love too. <laughs> oh, there's that internet connection. Most of the people you help or try to, they will stab. Exactly, you in the she back. needs to go. You go a good job. Like you were nothing. Like you didn't matter what. Like. And I have this toxic trait in me where I. <laughs> What? Are you fucking kidding me? She's finally about to go into like fucking talking about what's wrong with her and she cuts the video off. 
Oh, damn. I didn't even realize that. All right. Do, 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 do. The motel is condemned. Oh, but it but has it in it. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so I want to talk into some things I, I I see um I see happening in the future for uh for um old Shannon old Shaney boo boo old Sand Dolphin old Sand Kraken uh, I don't think I've anyone's called her Sand Kraken yet but I'm gonna call her Sand Kraken <clears throat> um I'm gonna predict you know because uh, some McDonald's have free Wi-Fi mine does I don't know if, you know many others do but my uh, McDonald's have free Wi-Fi so I would predict that the, the fucking mukbang McDonald's dumpster dive is about to happen um you know fucking I predict Shaney's gonna be sitting outside of a fucking Starbucks or a fucking McDonald's or something yeah Sand Dolphin or she calls herself Sand Dolph or something like that but people call her Sand Dolphin I th I'm just gonna call her Sand Kraken um, she's gonna and she's gonna be yelling into her phone while people walk by, just like what the fuck, <laughs> you know? And that's gonna be because, like I said, it's it's totally predictable with these people. Um, also, another prediction that could happen is that she's gonna end up in the hospital. She's gonna try to get herself in some kind of fucking hospital setting where she can make videos from there, and that's gonna happen. Um. Eventually, Rev is going to be out of the picture. I, I don't see how. I don't see how. Because Rev is now... Because the, the fucking hospital's not going to take him in, right? Unless it's a mental ward. And I know he has, he has mental problems, but... I don't think it's serious enough for them to take him in. Um, what I think is going to happen... Um, Uncle Joe is going to tell fucking Rev to just fucking ditch that bitch and come home. And he's not going to have much of a choice. Not much of a choice. He's gonna come in and it's gonna and he's gonna have to leave her, you know, by herself and in some probably hospital. I think that there's a recent tweet of her mentioning going to the hospital. You know, I wouldn't know because I I can't see her tweets. Um, so if that if you have like a screenshot of that or something to me, if you post in the chat, I would fucking you know. Oh shit, I got I got add my mods, yo. I think every one of you is like a like a mod at least, yeah. These are all people I had moderators before. Pedo was a mod. Uh, why did I say pedo? Yado. I'm fucking shit. Yado, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, you're already a moderator. Holofolo was a moderator, I believe. Reaper definitely was a moderator. Alright, and. Yeah, Brown Girl Life. I don't think I'm, you were a moderator before, but you know what? You said welcome back, and I'm just gonna make everyone a moderator in this one. All right, because I trust every one of you. Don't, 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 don't break my trust, folks. Yep. Anyway, yeah. While well, she's in some kind of hospital, so I, I don't see Rev being in the picture for long, and I, I do see like maybe even some uh. Oh, maybe even some of um, some feuding, like G, like G Man versus Shaney and Rev. Eventually, it's gonna be a no problem, Alibus. Um, it's gonna be Rev versus Shaney, or I do see fucking Shaney just moving in with G Man, because you know G Man's gonna be like, yeah, you time to dump that that loser and come come be with G Man. You know. Something like something along those lines. Those those are what I see happening. Um, no problem, I think. Yeah. So let's. So now that we've um, gone through the whole Shaney arc of while I've been gone, at least what I know of so far, um, I want to talk about. Some someone else that's a little bit more, uh, just a teeny bit more, you know, famous. That's a tiny bit more famous. I want to talk about Kanye. I want to talk about Ye, uh, Ye. I want to talk about him. Oh, the artist formerly known as Kanye. Sorry, sorry, Ye. Sorry, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you that you're triggered by that. 
Isn't it funny, like, how all these, like, conservatives are always triggered over this dumbest shit? <coughs> always. It's constantly triggered over this the stupidest fucking shit. It's just ridiculous. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> kind of, um, a flu going around. So we got Yee over here. And he's been, uh, he's been in a little bit of trouble. He's been a little bit of a bad boy. A little bit of a bad man. Baddie. Baddie. No more anti-Semitism uh, for you. <laughs> Fucking shit. No more talking shit about George Floyd for you, ye. Fucking it. I'm sorry. He's been stupid ever since. Ever. Dude, it's been, it's been known forever he's just dumb as fuck. You know, you could be a genius at, at what you do. That's fine. I, mean, I, I won't gonna lie. He's a he's a fucking great rapper. He's fucking a, he's one of the goats, if if not the goat, at rapping. All right, at music. I'm not gonna lie. That doesn't mean you're fucking smart in other subjects or in other fucking things. And this motherfucker just says the dumbest shit and does the dumbest shit. So, what did Yeezy do today? Or ye? What did I say, Yeezy? Just as he loses more sponsors over those anti-Semitic comments comes an allegation. He once praised Adolf Hitler during a TV appearance, but it was edited out. A shocking new alley. Now, the, word, the, the, the stupidest thing is, is that he would fucking say that shit on a TV appearance. You can fucking speculate all you want whether he thinks Adolf Hitler is a cool dude, yo. Adolf Hitler is a okay He's the bee's knees. You know? Oh, God. Someone's going to clip that shit. Uh, please don't clip that. And if you do, at least make it funny. All right? But he thinks Adolf Hitler is okay in his book. Allegation against Kanye West. Did he have a sick obsession with Hitler? He wanted to call the album Hitler and that it was really like the final hours before the album was going to come out that his camp was able to successfully get him to switch it to yay, which is what it was called. Former TMZ employee Van Lathan says in a new podcast, he was there when it happened. He said something like, I love Hitler, I love Nazis, um, something to that effect. When And you know what? I'm not surprised. And you know, you know, I don't know why. Okay, so let's fucking let's fucking face it. Fascism is a great system if you're rich and powerful. All right. Fascism is a great system if you're rich and powerful. I'll tell you that. I'll say that again. So I'm not surprised that. One of the most rich and rich and powerful rappers in the country <laughs> thinks it's okay. Uh, I love it. I love it. And and I think there was an interview. Um, I don't want to go into it, but basically he said he's he's more in tune with the rich community than he is with the black community, which is fucking, which makes sense. <laughs> which everything just falling into place. But yeah, con con confirmed by this guy. He likes likes Hitler. When he was there, and they took it out of the interview, one of the producers at TMZ actually stood up and said, "I'm Jewish, and that is offensive to me." What you just said. I spoke to CNN entertainment reporter Chloe Malas. We spoke to a former member of Kanye's entourage who was there at TMZ with Kanye and actually heard Kanye say those things about Hitler. It's the latest firestorm over Kanye West's anti-Semitic comments as major companies announce they have cut all ties with him. Some former Kanye West fans are now posting videos on TikTok. I'm sorry if you bought those nasty ass shoes. Uh, there's, I'm sorry, I just can't buy shoes that's just like attached to like someone super famous. It just, it just feels, it feels gross to me. It's like, like I can never get into Jordans. It's like, what does Michael Jordan really know about shoemaking? Maybe he knows a lot, but I don't know. He does. Um, fucking, I can't get into like Yeez or anything like that. It's just like, I just like comfortable shoes. Um. 
But if you're out buying, you know, a pair of Yeez because you need the new Yeez, um, yeah, uh, maybe consider the fact that he's he loves Nazis. So, just consider that when you're out purchasing your new fucking shoes. All right, folks, this is going. This is kind of going to be a shorter episode than I used to do, uh, mainly because um, I have to. I have a lot of catching up to do, and I only had enough time to really catch up on Shaney and fucking Rev. Okay, and. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you can't blame me or won't blame me, but uh, I I really did enjoy enjoy doing the show. I actually got a lot more um, people in the chat than I thought I did. I thought I was going to just for being my first show back. I only had ten subscribers when I started, you know, just that kind of thing. Um, but I know I know it's going to take time. It's going to take some effort to grow back to where I was. I had around 800 subscribers before I was. That's why it's important that I ask you if you leave a like. And you subscribe if you like the channel. Um, and if you want to check me out on Discord or on Twitter, links are down below. I'm probably going to get some more links, you know, Teespring, Streamlabs, all that shit going on. I got to get all the bells and whistles back together. Um, so uh, thank you for coming. I love you guys. I appreciate um, the, the chat being so um, so nice and, and cordial. And uh, you guys have